Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm doing episode 168. It's gonna be a short episode. I only have a few finished objects and one whip. I'm currently wearing my whip. <laughs> I took a little video clip so I could show it to you and I'll insert that when I'm talking about it. But June is behind y'all. She was asleep, but she's just now waking up. So I'm gonna try to get this filmed before she gets like grumpy. <laughs> But anyways, so I'm going to hop into my finished objects. You've already seen all these uh, recently if you watch my other videos. But I'm going to show them anyways because that's what I do with these roundup videos. Okay, so first I have the baby baby bear hat by Okie Girl Bling and Things. It's a free pattern. I'll link it below. All the links will be down below. Um, I used a H hook, which is a 5 millimeter, And I used, uh, I love this yarn, Blossom Mop Plus. So here it is. This is for June. She's crying already. This is a, a, a 6 to 12 month size. So this is for her this next coming winter this year. So it's so cute. I like it a lot. You make the ears separate and put it on there. Um, the body of it's made in half double crochets. I think. <laughs> and then these are double crochets and some single crochets. So it's really cute. And it's a free pattern. Worked up super quick. And then to match that, I made myself a ear warmer. No pattern used. I just used double crochets. And I made it fit around my head. And uh, then I slip stitched it together. And then I took the same ears from that pattern and put onto it. But this was made with an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter and the same yarn. So we'll have matching head warmers <laughs> for this come winter. I'm excited about that. My last finished object, already, I only have the three, <laughs> is the Flip It Doll uh, Bonnet Baby by Valerie Phillips at Va Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. <laughs> That's her YouTube channel. I'll link it below. I'll also link her Etsy shop below. Um, so here it is. Super cute. I just put a video out, I think yesterday about this, but it is so cute. Look at it. This is a scrap yarn. I'm not sure what it was, um, but it's real pretty. It's got purple and gray and pink in it. This is, I love this yarn, uh, light peach, scrap pink. These are 20 millimeter safety eyes. And the little bonnet flips. So you have a sleeping baby. Or you can flip it too. And a wake baby. <laughs> and it's so adorable. I love this little doll. I will probably make more of these in the future. But they are so adorable. <laughs> I love the way this yarn worked up too. It's really pretty. I wish I knew what that was. Because it would be really pretty other projects. But I love this pattern, Valerie. Perfect. And I love your other one. The snuggle baby, I think it was. I made one of those. There are sirens going off. Anyways. It's so cute. I gotta get the baby. Well, it is windy here in Middle Tennessee. It's been windy all day. We had a beautiful day today. I think the high got to 74 degrees. We actually went to the park today. Oh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> just gagged her. You want that? There you go. <laughs> She's got a pacifier. Anyways, it was a beautiful day. We went to the park. Me and June walked. Well, you know, she was in her stroller. She slept the whole time. But I walked, got some steps in. Devin and Jesse played. We found her football. So we got a new football. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I actually took some clips off. I'll put them in if I can remember. So my only whip is my Stonewash Shrug by Making Do Crew. It's a free pattern. I've been working on it since the beginning of February, but uh, I've been a little busy with this little thing <laughs> but I'm getting more progress done on it I did finish the sleeves since last time you guys seen it and the cuffs so all I have left to do on it is the um, collar what oh okay it was eating time <laughs> anyways what I was talking about I um only have the color left to do which I'm excited about I want to try to finish that up but it's actually looking really good I did do some alterations though on the sleeves um, 7 8 9 10, 11, 12. I think I did 15 rows <laughs> I did seven rows of the pattern for the sleeves and then I did do two decrease rows because when I did the whole sleeve the first one the way the pattern was written and it was really baggy and I wanted it to be more um, fitted towards the bottom like my forearm and then down towards my wrist so I did seven rows as the pattern is written then I did two decrease rounds and then I did six more rows of the pattern just the regular pattern and then I did the three I did three rows single shape for the cuffs so that made the sleeves a little bit more fitted on my forearms and my wrist, which is, I like it. And I actually like the way it looks, it looks really good. 
so it's kind of puffy at the top and then it gets narrow narrower more narrow <laughs> as it goes down which i like so um i when i did that i copied down the other side so now i just got to do the uh collar which i keep getting ready to start and then you know i have to do something with june or jesse or life stuff you know so um uh let's see Devin's next day off of work is thursday so i'll probably finish up thursday uh I always try to work on little things in between, like tomorrow's Wednesday, I'll probably work on some little, like an emigrimi or something, um, because that way I can have it in my lap while she's in my lap and not be hitting her with it. <laughs> that um, shrug is kind of like a cardigan size, you know, so it uh, it would land on top of her and smoosh her. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's my only whip right now. I am going to start another whip tomorrow morning. You good? Yeah. Which is going to be an emigrimi. It's going to be my Watch Your Work It on Wednesday video, or project. Plus, it's something I've been wanting to make for the last week or so. So, I'm going to get it done. Hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, that's everything I've been working on the last few days. Just those two, um, that baby doll made yesterday. Yeah. And then the little hats I made this weekend. And then, um, my shirt, I've been working on it slowly. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I've been working on. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I said this is going to be a short episode, and it is. I got to, she is squiggling around, I swear. But I did take a few little clips, just a couple, at the park today. So I'll put them in if I can remember. I'll try to remember. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get back to watching my show. I'm watching a show on Discovery Plus called uh, Murder Comes to Town. <laughs> There's only one season on there, and I think I'm on the third episode. So I'm just slowly making my way through all the shows on that <laughs> um, app I love. Uh, the ID channel and all the stuff that's on it and plus Discovery Plus has TLC and Food Network which are two of my other favorite channels so I got plenty of stuff to watch <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and hopefully I don't, I don't think it's supposed to storm tonight but it's supposed to rain a whole lot um I forgot what I was saying she interrupted me again <laughs> anyways look at my plant I think he's gonna live there I keep moving him around the whole apartment trying to find a good place for him that is the plant that I rescued in springtime last year 2021 and it was dried up. The whole entire uh, pot was dry. The dirt just crumbled off of it. And it was turning yellow and almost dead. And there was only like five or six leaves on it. And now it's huge. And actually, some of these vines are almost touching the floor over here. And they're still growing. So, yeah, that's my, my uh, pothos. <laughs> pothos, pothos, however you say it. I'm talking. Oh. Anyways, she's getting fussy, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video, hopefully soon. Bye, guys.